Uh, well, Keir Starmer has announced plans to uh, freeze energy bills at their current level until the end of March next year. The Labour leader claimed his proposals would save the average household £1,000. The Conservative government's already announced what it says is £37 billion worth of support for uh, hard-pressed households, but it's under pressure to do more with bills set to rise this winter, as you know, to more than £4,000. Let's listen to part of what Keir Starmer had to say this afternoon about his plan. We've got a fully costed plan that says we will keep those prices down. We will not allow these rises to happen and we are going to have a windfall tax on the oil and gas companies uh, to pay for it. And that is the right compromise because we're standing with those people who are struggling to pay their bills. Uh, very pleased to say senior GB News contributor Tim Montgomery is here. Hi to you, Tim. Uh, I saw some polling already suggesting that three quarters of Conservative supporters like this plan. Yeah, um, people out there are incredibly worried. And this whole episode reminds me a little bit about Rishi Sunak's failure in his spring statement to announce anything for people on benefits. And I think all the discussion we've had in the Tory leadership race, for example, about the impact of tax cuts on people. Tax cuts I am in favour of. I think people need something to help them uh, make work pay, to ensure that the economy is uh, reinvigorated. But actually, these energy price rises really hurt the poorest most. And there's been a lack of discussion about that amongst the uh, Conservative uh, leadership candidates. And it disappoints me as a Conservative that um, while I'm not particularly enthusiastic about the plan that Keir Starmer has come up with. Conservatives are yet again seem to be trailing in uh, actually advancing something to reassure people who are out there are incredibly worried. But Tim, 30 billion quid of extra spending yep. in the space of six months. Oh, and that's 30 billion based on current prices. And the problem with this is you don't know where the price of wholesale gas is going to be, right? So it could be 35 billion. Yeah, 35 billion more. We shouldn't worry. <laughs> and absolutely. And this does nothing actually to help business. And business, you know, are really struggling with these bills as well. But I think there's still something important in what the Labour Party, Labour leader has done today. And just you know, people are very frightened about these bills. There's a little a pantry in um, Salisbury where I live and I, you know, it's a place where people get emergency food. And yeah. I ended up talking to the people in the queue the other day. And the fear is incredibly real. And it, just for me, you know, we're all familiar with the numbers when you see polling about how worried people are. But this is, you know, these are people who aren't sleeping. These are people who are very worried about the, uh, the, the situation ahead. And the government, you know, because of the interregnum caused by the leadership race, you know, we are, people aren't getting the reassurance that they need.